your landing page for profilepicture.ai is really impressive. Thank you. You know, it's fun for me to watch from the outside, you know, all the years of your landing page hustle <laughs> distilled into your own product, eh? So what recent changes made to your landing page really made a difference? Well, I've been using the same headers for like, what is it? Five to 10 years. It's always the same picture on the right, checklist, three checklist, title, subtitle, and a really good button. And it's only one call to action. It's basically like CRO, conversion optimization 101. This is like, uh, if you distill it. But this is like my whole landing page. It just goes through a checklist of influence by Robert Chiodini. If you've never read it, go read it. It will be mind changing. If you don't know marketing, this is how you're going to understand it. It's basically like, you want to have these six checklists. You want to have social influence. You want to show people have been using it. You want authority, logos, uh, scarcity, all those kind of stuff. That's basically the combination of the landing page. Brilliant. So is there anything that you sort of added like recently that like that surprised you? That was like, wow, this increased conversions quite a bit. I know you've been switching up the photos quite a bit. You've been getting pretty fancy with only listing the photos and the header that had the highest conversions. That was yep. pretty smart. I've been... the the, the Every time I remove the scarcity banner, conversion rates drop. So it's, it's a really nice tactic. I used to do it with prices, but I never lie about it. That's the thing. So I always have to find a new kind of way to make a deal. So the last scarcity bar, which I actually removed and I will never bring back was buy one, get one free. Now you get f uh, 40 bonus photos, for example, which I will never bring back anymore. Okay. So those really increase the conversion rates. Showing the examples really works really well. Yeah, I think that's the killer, killer implementation. The one, the one big one I tell people is that there's three ways to, you know, pitch your product and you can either tell them, you can get other people to tell them, yep. which is like your testimonials and so on. And the third one is you can show them. And that's when you get your beautiful in-page oh, demos. And I'm just I like, you know, that list. that's a good list. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. It's super simple. And it's, it's like kind of my go-to now. I, I just aim for the end. Yep. And obviously the best answer is all of them. So, and that's like, if I, if I can add one extra hook on top of it, like you want to show Please. it and then you, you want to sell the product and don't be sketchy. Don't have like all these fancy titles, fancy things. No, you want to just show a problem, present the solution and say why you are the right person to present that solution. People will buy from you. Done.